Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey everybody, we'd just like to take a moment to thank the guys over at SkySilk who made this video possible. SkySilk is a Linux-based cloud hosting platform built for developers with plans starting at just $2 a month, and they're currently giving every new signup a free $100 credit to try out the platform for 60 days. You can get started in just a few clicks over at SkySilk.com. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and in this episode we are going to be creating some Teemo Shrooms. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what this series is about, basically in this series I go ahead and look at other games and try to recreate some of their cool effects or abilities inside of Minecraft. So if you've just tuned into the channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And yeah, so let me show you what this is about. So if you've never played League of Legends, there's a champion called Teemo who his ultimate allows him to put down mushrooms. And with these mushrooms, they're invisible. Obviously we could do that here if we really wanted to, um, by just saving the locations or making it so players couldn't see this with packets. But we're gonna try to stay away from packets. But basically, Timo puts down these mushrooms and when an enemy walks over them, they explode, they get poisoned, and they are slowed. So if we walk over this, you can see there that we have some particles we have uh, some sound effects, and then we have Poison 2 and Slowness 2. Now you can increase uh, these as much as you want. You can make it, you know, stronger poison, stronger slow, last longer. Um, but let's go ahead and disconnect, and let's jump into IntelliJ. Okay, so I've already set up a few things just because it will just save time. Uh, so. We're registering our event here in our main class. So register events equals new shroom or new Teemo shroom, this, this for plugin. And then we have our Teemo shroom class. And then I'm getting an instance I'll plug in here. But I don't actually know if we ended up, end up using that at all. So if we don't use this, uh, we can actually just get rid of this. So we wanna make this class implements listener. Then we're gonna go ahead and say event handler. Now this is going to be done inside of a player move event so we can call this shroom come on i can type shroom detect and this is just going to be a player move event event then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and say final player player equals event dot get player sorry if my keyboard is really loud it's a new keyboard i don't know if i've recorded any videos using this keyboard yet um, but it's much louder than my last one so we're gonna go ahead and say final material. This is going to be block type because we wanna get the block that is underneath the player. So we're gonna say player dot get location dot get block dot get type because obviously we need to check to see if it is indeed a mushroom. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a switch statement. You can do this with an if else, although I feel like a switch uh, statement just looks a lot nicer. So we're gonna go ahead and say case. We're gonna say red mushroom. And we're gonna say case brown, oops, mushroom. And then we're gonna go ahead and say shroom explode. Now, obviously we don't have this made yet, but let's just go ahead and put it in there. And now in IntelliJ, you can do alt enter and we can create the method. And now we have shroom explode. And let's go ahead and create our particle dust first. So this is going to be particle dust option. And now you can do whatever colors that you want. I'm going to just do the colors that I think make the most sense. So we're gonna go ahead and say purple dust equals a new particle dust option color purple. And now you can use literally whatever colors you guys wanna use. And then we'll just go ahead and say light purple dust. And then we'll just make this fuchsia. Cool. Did we import the wrong color? Oh, right, we gotta put the size. <laughs> so we'll do size two for purple. And we'll put a comma there, so that way we can just have one dust option here. Uh, so we're gonna do size two for the purple dust, and then we're gonna do a size one for the light purple dust. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to create our potion effects, obviously, because we need to add these to the player once they step on the mushroom. So we're gonna go ahead and say poison equals a new 
potion effect. And then we're gonna go ahead and get poison. And we want it as 80 for the duration. And now this is in ticks. So keep that in mind that this is in ticks. So 80 ticks is only four seconds. So 20 ticks is a second. Let's just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go slow, slow. And I will keep these values the same because we want them to last the same amount of time. Now we're gonna go ahead and cast the player's location. So get location. And now we wanna get the world that they're in. So world world equals location dot get world. Oops. Let's just clean that up a little bit. Okay, now we wanna spawn our particles. We're gonna go ahead and say world spawn particle. And this is going to be particle redstone because redstone is the only particle that I know that you are able to color. We're gonna cast in the location, the count, and then the offset, which I'm gonna do on one, one unit in each direction. We'll duplicate this. And now we'll go ahead and say light purple dust. And now we have spawned our particle dust. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and play a sound for when the player actually steps on this. We're gonna play it at the location. And it's going to be sound entity dragon fireball explode. There we go. We're gonna put a volume of 0.5 and then we're gonna set the pitch at 10. So it's nice and heavy and it sounds a little bit different than the normal uh, explode. That way it kind of has a little bit of variance to it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the block that the mushroom was at. And we're going to set the type to material air because we wanna get rid of it. And then we'll go ahead and add these potion effects to the player. So we'll say poison, force, true. We'll duplicate this. We'll go ahead and say slow. We don't need to duplicate that again. And we should be good to go because we already registered it in our main class here. So let's go over here and install. Okay, let me grab this jar file, head on over to our server, paste that in. Let's run our server. Let's go ahead and switch over to Minecraft. So I still don't have, uh, I haven't updated my spigot. So it's gonna say that it's out of date. So we're gonna have to wait a couple seconds here. 20 seconds to be exact. Okay, our server has launched, so let's jump in. And okay. So now if we put down a mushroom and we walk over it, you can see there that we do in fact take damage. Now, obviously, you know, this only, this particular code only works with mushrooms but you can change this code up to really be anything that you want it to be. You can make it so if a player steps on, you know, wheat that it explodes, or if they step on mushrooms, you know, it maybe burns them. Um, the options are pretty wide open. So I encourage you guys to explore, leave a comment down below what you ended up doing. Definitely head over to the GitHub and make some suggestions, make some suggestions down in the comments for what you guys would like to see next. I have one more thing planned. I have to just work through some of the code for it and I should be ready to go for you guys in the next episode of Let's, Cre Let's Recreate. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for the continued support on the channel. We have some updates coming here soon. So hopefully I'll be able to make an on-camera debut again uh, and talk about some of these changes and some of the things that we have planned for the source code and yeah, I'm really excited and I look forward to 2019, even though we're already like halfway through it. Thanks for watching.